close sure. the next few days, but um, you can certainly get in touch with me and call me or email me or call 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 me Nice wording. So, and he's very interested in the cat, but it's not like, like they've gotten very close, and she said the cat will 100% correct him. So it's going to be a matter of how he accepts the correct. So, um, but the cat is like, I'm not staying off in the bedroom. That doesn't work for me. I live in this house. So he's, he's not really digging the whole being stuck in a room. So he was coming down the stairs, but they had a gate up, so like her wrangler went over to the called him back and he stood there for a minute and he continued to eyeball the cat and then he decided to walk away and he laid down with his back to where the cat was and he said those are all really good things because that's a very good you know, position to be in so he turned his back to the cat
he responded, that tech responded to me Wednesday and said, please share pictures and your info. I'll um, have you back there to look at it and show it back to you. So Thursday, I get home, and Molly's leg is just full on sore. I'm like, it was before. Her shoulder is ripped out, but her foot, like, she's dragging the top of her foot again. And, uh, so I'm literally in the bathroom after I've taken my dogs out of the potty. I'm now, and I'm sending this, I'm typing an email. You know, it used to be you would read magazines in the bathroom, and now you're on your phone. So I'm sending an email to her, to, to them, and I no sooner hit send than the text message notification goes off my phone. And I look, and it's from them. And he's like, we're just checking, we haven't heard from you, Dr. M sent an email last night, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yeah, there's literally nothing in my email chain right now. So, um, I read it, I send out a sign back, and immediately my phone starts ringing, and it's him. And he says, well, we're actually at the quick trip, you can see the, the pumps, the gas pumps from my front door. Um, he says, we're at the quick trip right now, if you're home, we can stop by and, and take a look at it. I'm like, seriously? Wow. So they came over, she gave her a full-on exam right there, right out in, in the front, you know, area of my condo. Um, and she's like, well, she says, at this point, she says, I think there's a high likelihood of this cancer. She said, how do you want to check that? How quickly are people like, can you go to the I said, it's palliative care at this point. We already know she can have a surgery anyway. I said, so what can we do? She said, well, she's the biggest thing for the swelling. She said, if we need to give her back on antibiotics, I don't want to move her on carbon watch and get her She said, so let's try Doxy for a week. And she said, I'm going to give you a supply for a month. Said, we'll try Doxy for a week. She said, by, by the middle of next week, you're going to know that the, the swelling's coming down and it's not. If it's not, then then we'll do something different. Let's have a different one. Because at that point, I'm probably going to have to puncture her um, to find out because the wound is, the, both of the wounds are pretty deep because of her constant ripping and, and everything. So I have to talk to her. She's not going to change the fact that it's Try the doxy to see if it manages. My whole thing is if, if we just get the swelling down on her legs, it's not painful. So they, they put her on that and her potions. The pill prescriptions right there, and she has all of that stuff with her. Um, $52. Oh, nice. Didn't charge me for an exam fee of, because I'm not trying to charge you for transportation. I'm literally, I was 50 feet away. And seriously? Then she tells me she gets, and thank you isn't really all that appreciative of, of the post and I said, maybe you should probably let it because it's really lovely. She said, he's been on the phone constantly for the last two weeks. She has seen a bunch of new dogs and everybody that has called has said, Bonnie and Molly sent this. So they know where it came from. She gave me another stack of cards because I told her, I said, I only have one and I do have one left here. Um, so she gave me another small stack of cards. She said, I can go to these since we saw Molly. So long as when I call you, you can still see my dog. <laughs> so yeah. she was pretty excited. Um, Betty and uh, Corey took us for a walk. Uh, I think it's the thing that brought up something that I never thought of. The fact that he wants to put his leg down and all that. And, and maybe we should put your dog through this. You know, but I'm sure he's still got a torn. Right. But it could also be. Because Molly had a torn ACL and she tested her, her when I made them run it. Two years ago, they tested her, and it was a one and two ratio, which they don't treat. They assume its exposure, and the body is, you know, is, is going to try to attack it. So they they generally don't do anything with it. But she did test positive, so mm. you know, and she had a torn ACL. It's entirely possible that it's not there. Why not? It's, 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 yeah. 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 about that. You know, but they don't all have other symptoms. Sometimes you don't know what you're going to The way he acts is like a, it's more laid back than he's ever been. So, so there might be some discomfort there. Yeah, it, it, so yeah, I think she can just call them and see if they can do the test and come out. And, yeah, because she said, because she back. told me with, with Molly, she said, well, we can, I, she said, I can run a valley fever test She said, I, I think we're, she, you, you understand that, right? She says, you, you know that we're on 
Okay, pretty no. short. And as I told her, I said, that's why I don't care whatever you want to put her on as far as payments or whatever. I said, I don't care about long-term consequences because it doesn't matter. I, I, if we have a couple of months, that's so, good. So I said, I would love to just get her foot feeling better that I can take her outside to go walk again. Because that's the number that I'm going to go out and get her to go out to the and that. But I can't take that chance that we're going to get, you know, half a block away and then I got to go up. I can't carry her. She's, she's almost 50 pounds and I just can't. It's like it's too much. Plus, with the wound being like right here, how do you, how do you, how do you do that? Like how do you go over your shoulder and make sure she's not going to be in pain? to find and I really like this lady's energy. She's very she's not one of those let's let's throw everything at it. Let's she's like because she said to me when she was there the other day, she said, I would be telling you very different things if this dog was half your age that she is. Like let's be more aggressive and let's do this. She said you're on borrowed time, like you said when, when I first met you. She said, you know, and the fact that you accept that it's a really long time pack and having my own dogs and you know I'm, I'm very much a realist but I want her to be able to go out behind me not where she was two weeks ago you know and that's why I said to her I said you know we we figure all of this out and we can give her a couple of good months and then it's time I said and, and then I have a clear conscience I said because I didn't know what this girl was doing and she was so bad and we got to the bit so yeah, I'm starting to like you a whole lot, though, man. She was used to come over here. Oh, she's so, and she's so big and she's gone. Yeah, she's great outside. Oh, it really is so terrible. I care less about 
but she's getting even then she's improving. Oh yeah. So, oh, ninety days. Yeah. When when that guy came, I gotta find out his name the next time he's here. Mm. But when he came back yesterday, he's like, he walked up and he goes, "This is her, right? This is a, you know, you get the same black dog. It's not two black dogs both mixing their white eyes." Yeah. <laughs> he's like, "Okay." He put the medications in, and he walked in, and she didn't freak out like she did on Thursday. I want to show him. This is a dog that would probably benefit from 